Hey and welcome back to another bang of a video. Today I'll be showing you how to install your own CSGO practice server. We will cover a lot of cool stuff in a short period of time, so if you enjoy the video, consider supporting the channel. We will cover some silly mistakes people made following the previous video. If you haven't seen the previous video, don't worry about it, we will cover way more in this one. So without any further ado, let's jump right back into the video. First things first, we want to download Steam CMD. To do so, navigate to your browser and in the search bar, type in CSGO dedicated server. If you don't get ads like me, it should be the first link on top. Everything as usual is in the description down below. So after reaching the page, you want to go down and press on download and install Steam CMD. Then click the little one and it will download the file. Open the RAR file and navigate to your file explorer. Choose a local disk you want to install your server server to and create a new folder for the server. As this is a YouTube tutorial, I'll be calling mine YouTube server. Then proceed and open the new folder and drag the Steam CMD file to it. You can now close everything down and launch Steam CMD. It's going to install everything it needs and now after it's done, we will create a new folder. I usually call this the server folder. As you could understand, it will store all of our server info. Open the folder and copy the path and return to Steam CMD. Now in Steam CMD, type in force underscore install underscore dir and paste the path we selected. Hit enter and proceed to type in login anonymous. Now we are wired to Gaben's network and only thing left to do is to download our server. To do so, type in app underscore update 740 validate. This will start the download, it takes some time so I'll see you when it's finished. If you find yourself in a situation where you can join your server because it's out of date, you can follow the previous steps. As we are logged in and have specified our directory already, you just have to type in app underscore update 740. Every new server is installed with the latest updates, so our server is already up to date. Now, we are going to create a start.bat file. This will be the file that you will open when you launch your server. Start by creating a new text file. After creating the text file, proceed to open it. Then head towards the video description and copy the start.bat string. Then head back to your notepad and paste. Now, just go and save the file. Make sure to name it start.bat. And for file type, choose all files and click save. You can delete the original text document as we have created a separate file. To make your server function, you will need to install metamod and source mod. Once again, you will want to navigate to your browser. This time, type in metamod download and it should be the first link on top. Open it and proceed to download section and choose stable builds. Press the windows logo on top and this will download the RAR file. Same goes with source mod. Just type in search source mod download and follow the first link provided. Once again, press on the windows logo and it will download the file. Now you will want to open both of your RAR files and log at your server folder. Inside you will find a CSGO folder that you will want to open. Then just simply drag both of the RAR files to the CSGO folder. After that you can close the first RAR folder. Go ahead and repeat the same process with the other one. That's pretty much how simple it is to install almost every plugin as well. More of that coming up soon. A really important step is to give yourself admin permissions so you can manage your server. To do so navigate your way to the add-ons folder then click on source mod. And we are looking for a configs folder. Inside we will find admin simple, open it with your notepad and go to the very bottom. After all this text you will want to add your steam id together with this text that we got in quotation marks that represents permissions you will gain. To find your steam id head over to your browser and type in steam id checker and choose one of the top links. This one works so I use this one. Now just head towards your steam profile page. If you happen to stumble across mine don't forget to check out my steam group. After this shameless behavior copy your profile page URL and paste it in the Steam ID lookup tool. After you search, you want to copy your Steam ID, then go back to admin simple file and paste your Steam ID at the bottom. Now just copy paste the permission string I mentioned earlier and save the file. After saving, you are good to go and can close this down. 
Now heading towards the plugins, first thing we will need for our server is the practice mod plugin. Just head over to your browser and type in CSGO practice mod. Choose the one made by SP Lewis, a massive shout out to him for making 99% of my videos possible. Then just browse down to the download section and click on download from the release section. Head for the latest build and press on the zip file, this will start your download. As a veteran you already are at opening RAR files, just do it again. As you could see, we see an add-ons folder once again. This means we need to locate our CSGO folder and as simple as it is, just drag the files to your CSGO folder and you are good to go. Now we will head towards a situation where you will only have your plugin file. To showcase how to install a plugin using only SMX and SP files, we will install the flash color plugin provided in the video description. When you get to the page, go all the way down, there you will find the plugin file and the source file. By pressing on these hyperlinks, you will download both of them. Don't mind the little ones next to my downloads, you shouldn't see those. I'm a bit challenged and downloaded them again for the purpose of this video. To find the installed directory, just head towards your server's CSGO folder, then just open add-ons and proceed to open source mod. In here you will find plugins and scripting folder. As you could understand the plugins folder is for the plugin or SMX file and the scripting folder is for the source or SP file. Once again simple dragging from your download folder to install the plugin. Now for the fun part. This is the part we do not disclose to Valve employees just in case they decide to fund CSGO creators one day. So to install knife skins and gloves just head towards your search bar and type in CSGO knife plugin and you can instantly search for the glove plugin as well. Just open both of them up, be super careful and follow the steps provided in this video or in the download page. As you can already see, for the knife plugin you will need the p-tool downloaded. As usual, you will want to head for the latest build and it will download a RAR file. When you open the RAR file up, you will see it's another add-on folder that you just have to drag to your server's CSGO folder. Then you will want to return to the plugin page and scroll down to download the latest version. When you get to the github page, just download the zip file. While you're at it, just download the glove plugin too. Once again, by making your way to the github page and downloading the zip file. Then just proceed to extract these folders to your server's CSGO folder. The important step here to make both of these plugins work is to change a line in your core config. To locate it, go to add-ons, once again open source mod and head towards the config folder. And here you will find the core config that you are looking for. When you open it, almost at the very bottom, you will find follow CSGO server guidelines. Just change the value from yes to no, and now you can save the file and exit as you have successfully installed your plugins. If you ever wonder how to use all of the witchcraft we just created, remember about the star.bat file we created earlier. Navigate back to your server folder. If you follow Follow the video closely, it should be sitting right here. Really important to open your CSGO before you launch your server, because if you launch your server beforehand, Steam will say that you already have CSGO running. Another really really important step when launching for the first time, and this is the biggest mistake all of you make, is not allowing connections to the Windows firewall. I could list at least 100 comments asking for the fix to this problem, when all you had to do was add a little check mark and hit OK. If you don't give access to your firewall, your server just won't show up. So please make sure to give access. If you ever decide to make the server public and port forward your router or use something like Hamachi that connects you on the same network, open the firewall for public connections too. This will definitely help you avoid headaches. As we can see, the server is up and running, so let's switch to CSGO. Now in CSGO you want to open the server browser by hitting the big play button and in the list pick community server browser. Then navigate to the LAN tab and you should see your new server. Proceed to connect to your new kingdom. After you join, there are a lot of cool things you can do. To launch the practice mod, either type in .setup or .prac. If you type .setup like me, press 1 and it will enable the practice mod. Now as the VIP you are, you can as well use the exclamation mark knife, which will give you the huge list of knives you can use. Don't forget that you can change the patterns and verse to any of your skins by typing 
exclamation mark WS. Same with the gloves, just type in exclamation mark gloves and don't forget to select the most expensive ones. Another cool plugin I use for my videos and would love to showcase you guys is the flash color plugin. As with every plugin, more detailed information on how to use them and what commands are available will be listed by the developers on their plugin pages. As you can see, to change the color, there's a string. Just copy and head towards your server console or use a CVAR. This string is made of RGB values, so if for an instance we change everything here to 000, which is RGB for black, that means when we throw the flash in game, we should get a black color. Something like this. If you want more future content like this, let me know in the description down below. If you need any support, let me know down below. Hope this helped you out. Have fun and enjoy.